Hello everyone, dear subscribers, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I was just doing some uh, some homework and everything, and um, I just had a great idea for an uh, for a new video. Uh, I get a lot of questions from people. Um, I want to start a grow. Are these lights enough? How much light do I need for my grow box? How much do you need for one plant? And these are very um, yeah good questions and um, the answer is actually not very difficult but it depends on what light you are going to use so in this video I'm going to tell you everything how much light you need um, uh, the, the different kinds of lights and uh, yeah after this video you will know how much you need and I will ex explain the whole theory behind it so uh, yeah enjoy everyone Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in and like I said in this video I'm going to show you how much light you need uh, in your grow uh, box or per plant. Of course you have uh, different kind of uh, lights. You have the CFLs and you have LEDs, you have HPS uh, but I will basically uh, tell you the information of the LED lights and CFLs here on my website I have some uh, some examples but um, yeah back to paint because uh, in this way I can show you everything so yeah, how much light do you need per plant? Um, I will tell you everything. I will start with the, uh, the basics. Uh, how much light do you need? That's actually a bit of a strange question. Uh, the reason of that is because uh, when you are growing a plant, let's say you have an, um, yeah, decent grow box, micro grow but decent grow box and you have a nice flower pot over here and a plant growing and let's say you put a light over here of 10 uh, 10 watts or 15 watts you know not very strong at all what would happen uh, when you obviously are using a very uh, low wattage on your plant um, but let's say you do everything correct temperature is correct you have the right soil what you think will happen you think only because you have an, a 10 watt light the plant will not grow the plant will grow definitely um, it, it will even grow uh, some serious height but what will happen is uh, the plant ah, <laughs> a bit difficult to, uh, to draw it but let's say these uh, lines are the leaves and let's say these things are the buds what would happen is the plant will grow maybe not so big but because of uh, it gets light so it will grow it can get uh, the photosynthesis going on so it can start the photosynthesis and um, um, the plant will grow so if you ask me how much uh, is, is, is 20 light or is 10 watt enough I would say yeah you, you will get you will get a plant you will you can make some real nice pictures but the buds the bud to leaf ratio will be yeah super low I mean I'm try to draw it a bit here for you you will have beautiful leaves those nice uh, cannabis leaves but 
yeah the the, the buds that are growing will, will be just super small so yeah back to the question how much light do you need well for uh, when you are growing for 10 watts and maybe you you uh, just want to have a nice plant for uh, as a companion just to see as, as a hobby then you can uh, do stuff with 10 to 20 watt and you can even have some butts uh, you ro roll a couple of joints with it but yeah let's be honest most most of us we um, we starting to grow because we want to have our own wheat. Uh, we don't want to buy it in the dispensaries or in the coffee shops where it, it, it is expensive like hell, you know? So then it is the question, the better question is, um, how much lights, how much what do I need to get a decent harvest? That is the question you need to... Uh, yeah, that's the important question. So again, I will explain it. And like I said before, uh, you have different kind of lights. I won't even uh, go to HPS because that is just not an, an, an suitable light for micro growth. Not smart to use an HPS. So I will uh, keep my info uh, to the... Uh, I will um, talk about the CFLs and the LED. Strange that they all have three letters, HPS also. But uh, um, yeah, you, uh, you have CFL and LEDs. And uh, I'm going to tell you straight away when you are using CFLs, you are go you you need more watts when you are uh, using CFL. Just for a simple fact, uh, I'm also going to show you is when you have a CFL over here. CFL gives some serious watt. I mean, uh, just pick a uh, 20 or 33 watt CFL. Just look at it. It's, it's, it's bright as hell, you know. And um, but the thing you need to uh, understand is. When you have an, uh, a CFL over here, uh, the intensity at this point is like 90%. So here it works very good, but here it is also very hot. Understand that also. Um, so here would be better. And what is the, the power at this side? I would say, around 60 50 to 60 percent and here you you get less than half of what the light is putting out so you know you understand what i'm saying um cfl do the job they are very cheap and reliable you can buy them everywhere but the intensity just goes away very quick that's why you also see it in my pictures and of course uh, actually all the uh, good CFL growers they put the CFLs very close so um, yeah it loses its intensity and because of that you need to compensate that by using more CFLs and I know I always ramble so I, I will give you some straight numbers right now um, when you are um, when you have a CFL uh, or, or when you're growing with CFL per plant for 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 one plant I would say um, around uh, I would say uh, to get a decent harvest minimum of 50 watts that is my um, sincere uh, advice after my uh, experience um, but to be honest my first uh, CFL grow I knew uh, more watts equals a bigger harvest so I know I need to put as much, as, as much light as possible so actually to be honest in my first grow I had um, four CFLs of 23 watts and it also gave me a very very nice harvest more than 25 grams um, the professional growers they measure uh, how much they will harvest with how much watts they are using 
um, and the professional growers can get one gram per watt but um, yeah when you are going with CFLs you won't get numbers like that just because what I explained you in a minute the intensity it loses uh, it gets lost very very fast and um, so yeah for CFL 50 I would say 50 to 100 watts you know um, 50 watts is the minimum uh, if you only have 50 watts you don't want to use a lot of lights maybe because of heat problems yeah 50 watt can give you an, uh, an, a nice some, some nice budge you know that you can put it in a small jar and still be happy from proud yeah that's grown that stuff you know so that's about that's that's the whole story about um, CFLs I think I've told you some interesting stuff about that or else please let me know in the comments I always reply um, so yeah put them close CFLs they lose the intensity but they also have a lot of advantages they do the job very good they also have bright white light so you see these problems all the problems you can see that very fast and uh, yeah that makes the CFLs very good option and um, but yeah a big disadvantage which I need to mention is the, the, the intensity and uh, it, it loses so much power that it isn't an, 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 an efficient option you know um, I mean 50 watts you are using 50 to 100 watts and like I said before you can't get one gram per watt or it's very difficult to get one gram per watt with with the, with the CFLs so yeah this it makes CFLs not a smart option but for people that live in places where you can't get grow lights, I mean, wow, CFLs are amazing. But uh, let's go to the LEDs. Um, yeah, LEDs is a whole different story. Um, when you put a CFL over here, it shines very deep. You will see when you have a CFL over here, you see the purple light all the way through here. So this lamp doesn't have that big problem that the CFL has that it loses the intensity very uh, very fast. So because of that you can hang them uh, uh, higher and um, because they uh, uh, are powerful don't lose the intensity fast with LEDs you need uh, less wattage. Um, from CFL I would say start around 50 watt with CFL I would say with uh, a, a good watts of uh, or good light uh, lights of in total 30 watt of LED power I mean definitely in a micro grow I mean, it can give you uh, real good results um, what I'm going to say now also applies for CFLs when you are buying lights um, for micro grow or even a bigger grow it's always better to have um, several smaller lights instead of one big light so it would be better I mean it's just logical if I show you I mean you will also understand I mean it is better for the plant to have this than to have this I mean it's just logical how the light spreads and everything you know and with CFLs that is definitely important to have several smaller ones the reason for that is because the LEDs can be pretty intensive uh, so when you use a, a, a 30 watt uh, LED in a small place I can I can almost assure you that you will get light burn so use smaller ones and you can remove the lens of the LEDs so it doesn't shine so deep so it shines wider instead of like a laser um, but yeah with, with 30 to 50 watts with, with, with LED power you can do a lot and now you understand why I'm not so happy with the CFLs because um, with that same 30 watt you can get a better results than 30 watt of CFLs so like I mentioned 51 is minimum um, advisable but um, yeah so those are the numbers for uh, uh, CFLs 
um, 50 to 100 and with LEDs in a micro grow setting uh, 30 to 50 watts you know and use smaller ones um, I will show you some stuff on my website because yeah I, like I told you smaller ones are better um, th this is actually the smallest um, LED that I uh, that I can find it is small but still pretty powerful I mean uh, I had situations where this uh, small light still causes uh, light burn because it can be very intense and uh, then this, you can see in my uh, recent grows that I removed the lens of this light so um, back to my picture uh, a very good setup is for example to buy a 20 watt LED over here and you have a 5 watt over here and a 5 watt over here you know so this one is 12 watt maybe you could go for two of these or one of these you know be be creative here you see uh, stronger ones 20 watt 63 watt 36 watt I mean and yeah the, in, in the micro grow setting you need to watch out with light, light, lights like this UFO LEDs we are we, we are having a bigger um, uh, grow space yeah th th these these are an option but um, I think the question how much light you use is more important for us micro growers because the bigger growers I mean yeah they will still just put in 100 watt or 200 watt LED and they, they fill up the whole a whole grow space with 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 flower pots I mean that makes grow very easy I mean these bigger growers don't have an idea what we are micro growers are going through um, I have a lot of respect for micro growers that grow in a small place a real small place and still get great results I mean again, it is a difficult job but yeah I've shown in my videos that it is possible and uh, the, the question that I get how much light you need is indeed a very good question that's why I made this video because if you're using too much intense lights and uh, the plant grows and grows big you know and you are middle in the grow it is sometimes can be can be um, difficult to remove a 20 watt light so it is important to um, set these things up on time before you start do your research so yeah um, know how much light you use um, so what you can expect even with sometimes in a micro grow it is better to use less watts uh, to prevent uh, heat problems and also a light burn uh, but yeah, just be aware that if you use less watts The harvest will be lower and when you are growing for weeks months uh, You get just a few grams can be can be yeah, not very uh, uh, Makes you a bit uh, uh, negative about this whole growing but yeah, that's why you, you need to buy some good lights um, before I uh, had an uh, idea so I said yeah I'm only going to use small ones of this and I actually had some yeah a night, a nice, uh, had a nice harvest but the buds just didn't grow very big I had several individual nice buds but when I put in um, the big one of 20 watt yeah the, the buds are growing like enormous you know just that, that crazy buds that you just want to make a picture of it but I also had a bit of a light burn so that's the balance you are um, need to deal with and the last thing I want to mention is you can also mix it up uh, CFL and LEDs you know I think this is the best option um, also because of the CFLs you, you have a white light so you can see things better makes things uh, makes 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 it easy to spot problems and uh, yeah, I, th I think I told you everything about the intensity that LED is stronger um, LEDs are a bit more difficult because some manufacturers of LEDs they mention yeah this light is 30 watt and you just look at the, uh, the lamp and the, and the price and ju it just doesn't mean anything so watch out with buying LEDs um, 
it's a bit strange to say but the more good quality the bit more expensive ones or not expensive one the good quality leds that you just see that they uh, are built with ser serious quality like like the ones i have on my website you know you can just see the these leds look beautiful look at this one over here and this one is some german quality led but I, I don't have an example of those bad leds and i don't want to disrespect any manufacturer but you have a lot of garbage also on the internet so watch out for that also um, I hope this was informative let me know if you have any questions I always reply on my comments so uh, yeah thanks for watching everyone peace